So tell us who you are, where you're from, and what you're about. Okay, um, hello everybody. My name is Steven Alexander. Um, I'm from New York, tri-state area. Originally born here in Brownsville, uh, raised in Wyandanche, Long Island, but we're here in Brownsville. Uh, once again, this is where I currently reside. Um, and and I'm just I'm just an artist. I I'm, I love video production. I love photography. And I was taking uh, script writing and advanced script writing while I was in college, and I really enjoyed that. And then I started taking video production classes, and then I was just like, oh, you know, maybe I'll do music videos for a while. And I was just like, oh, let me just combine these two things that I really love to do. So um, if so it, there isn't like one particular thing, but they all kind of like mesh together right. into one. You know, when I started doing video production to get better at being a DP and a cameraman, I started, I, I, I took a photography, you know, um, and I was just like snapping pictures here and there, but it, it, I did it so I can enhance my eye and I could, I, I knew more about shot composition, more about lighting um, and how I wanted to frame things. So. Um, there is a one particular thing. It's, it's just... It's a it's, melting pot yeah, of your art. Pot, yeah. Hmm. I think that's quite um, uh, brilliant. Not many people have so much layers of art where mm -hmm. they can, you know, um, find, an, find its uniqueness and merge it. Yeah. And um, you've done that <laughs> brilliantly. Mm -hmm. um, Thank you. You're welcome. Currently, you, you wrote a film. You want to tell us more about that? Um, well, I wrote... I've actually written a, a few scripts, but the one I currently have in production now is called Taste Like Medicine. Yeah, Taste Like Medicine, it's a, I feel like I've been saying this a lot. Which so is, it. which is good. Yeah, it seems yeah. as if, you know, um, you've been working on it and talking about it, so. Yeah, um, so yeah, this film was about this, this young man who goes to this, into his ex-girlfriend's baby shower, and to save face, he, he hires a call girl. But um, in the midst of it, he winds up having like this sort of mental breakdown, which sends him into this kind of like alternate reality. And I wrote that film. I wrote the film uh, last year. I was I was just unemployed, and I was very depressed. I was very sad, and I really, really wanted to to write a film. And I would just sit there for days, just like kind of staring at this wall, and. I would jot down my feelings, not really in, in, intending to write a script, but just kind of jot down how I was feeling. And then after a while, I just had all this material and excerpts and kind of monologues that I had. And I kind of found like this underlying theme and I kind of tied it all together within the story. And um, yeah, so that's, that's pretty much how I came about with the film and we're, we're currently in production right now. Um, hopefully we're going to wrap up in June as far as uh, filming is concerned and then we're going to make the run at the festivals at the top of the year and yeah, just, just try to put this film out. Where would art be today without the fearless artist? It's funny, I was reading this book about how important art is and how um, and how society is built around it and how cultures are built around it and the way that we learn how to value certain things is is based on art and if there w was there wasn't any art um i would think that we actually just wouldn't be civilized i think that's what actually helps civilize us you know um some people think it's laws some people think it's uh think it's morality but um the ability to look at something decipher it break it down try to try to understand it, try to create, try to produce, I think that's what actually pushes us forward as, as human beings. Mm. So what makes you a fearless artist? Um, I don't know, I guess the best way I could, I could describe it is that if, um, like if I didn't do this, I would actually just be miserable. Like, I, I don't really have the luxury of being able to walk away from from this. Um, I, w I just think I would be a very just sad, depressed person if I wasn't able to create. 
it's it's so much a, a part of me and I get bored very easily like very 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 easily like I, I was like a terrible student when I was in school because the teachers would be talking and then my mind would just be drifting everywhere um, until they gave me like some sort of creative assignment then then I would actually like start paying attention so yeah I would, I would just be I don't know, I feel like I'd be like a shell of a man like not even <laughs> Like, there would be no personality. There would, I wouldn't be able to... I don't think I'd really care about anything. Do you have any work to share? Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Smoke over here. <laughs> yeah. So, um... This right here... Yeah. Is... Actually my girlfriend. Mm. Um, I created this... maybe two years ago mm -hmm. um, I took this I took a picture of her uh, we were like sitting on the edge of my bed and um, we were like watching TV and I just I was just like playing around with my camera and I kind of just snapped uh, a, a side photo of her and then um, I started just like playing around with the colors and like I was I, I really enjoy pop art as well so I tried to uh, create something that like, you know, like an Andy Warhol mm -hmm. uh, type situation. She's also like a, a big fan of Andy Warhol. I see. Hold it, please. Oh, sure. Let me okay. just see how it looks and tilt it. Okay. Getting a little reflection, but oh, this is beautiful. Oh, thank you. This is absolutely beautiful. All right. So when I saw this in Detroit, this is an exhibit called the Heidelberg, and I saw this house, and it was, I don't know, it, 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 to me it was like a resurrection of childhood, like childhood coming back with a vengeance when I saw it, <laughs> because this guy right here just looked like the boss, and these like all his minions around him, and you know, these are like lost and forgotten pieces of, of somebody's life, but they're kind of like standing tall and looking down upon everything as if saying like you know there's nothing that could break them and there's there's still a use for them it's mm -hmm. um yeah it's, it even like reminds me of the movie toy story when like the, all those abandoned toys were just you know stuck underneath that kid's bed right um so yeah I, and i love the the contrast of like something that's supposed to bring joy to children and they're kind of like lost and pinned up and 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 given a new purpose uh, on top of this abandoned house right so yeah this that's why i really loved it and yeah, decided to take a, a picture of it thank you steven no problem, man. in truth you're, you're definitely one to watch um you have a lot to offer as an artist keep being inspirational keep thinking outside of the box thank and you, thank you. You know, but everybody be on the lookout for Taste Like Medicine. Uh, I'm gonna try to drop it at the top of the year. Also, check out some of my other work at vimeo.com slash Stephen Alexander. I have another short film up there called The Voodoo. Um, I also have a lot of my music videos. And if you want to see more of my photography, it's 500px.com slash Mr. Alexander. And you can see some, uh, some more of my work. So, yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Peace.